everyone and welcome back. Did you know that a B-roll in video is the extra footage you take to slice in of close-ups? And YouTube thumbnails perform much better if they have faces in them. I learned this and much more this week during my No Buy Year. So today we're going to do my 2020 project pan. I'm incredibly nervous because I have never done a public project pan before, obviously, since I'm very new to YouTube, but I have done like my own little secret project pans along with YouTubers that I've watched where I would actually write down the products that I want to use and measure them and keep track of my progress. And actually it has over the past few years really helped me use up some products. So I really wanted to do a public project pan for the first time. There's been a lot of different project pans going on in the YouTube community this year. It's 2020, it's a very even number, it's a start of a new decade, so obviously everyone's inspired to do something big, something great, something grand. So we've got things like 20 in 2020, we have team project pan that Haley and Kat from Beauty News started. There's like a new decade challenge going around where you pick 10 brand new products that you've never used before and you try to complete them all throughout the year. But basically the general premise of all of these projects is to try to use up what we have. So for those of you that don't know what a project pan is, essentially you pick products and you either try to use them up completely or you try to at least hit pan on them. And pan is the bottom of the compact. So you hit the bottom so that you can see that you really have used the product. So I was thinking long and hard, like, what am I going to do? Am I going to do just a rolling project pan of a few items? Am I going to do a 20 in 2020? Am I going to do a team project pan where I choose an item in pretty much every category of my uh, makeup and or skincare routine or something like that? And I decided to do kind of a hybrid of pretty much all these things. So let's go through some quick reasons for why I'm doing this project pan. Some of the obvious ones are, I wanna get my money's worth. I've been buying makeup for about seven years. I've accumulated a lot. I never go through pretty much any of it. And it's time, it's time to actually feel good about myself, to get my money's worth, to use what I have. Obvious reason this is why the whole no buy is happening to begin with. Reason number two, I wanna to try to go through some older products. And I'm not saying that everything in my project pan is going to be older products, even the initial things I've selected already. It's a mix, but I want to be mindful of that. So because this is gonna be a hybrid project pan, I will be rolling products in throughout the year as I use them up. So I wanna be mindful of the older products and make sure that there's always at least one or two older products in rotation. Reason number three, I want to start with a lot of products that are already almost used up or at least on their way. And there are several reasons for that. One, I wanna get them out of my collection because I wanna minimize the things I have and as I just mentioned, get my money's worth and then move on to something else. But another reason, and it's actually the bigger reason, is I want to start really small and build my way up. This is my first project pan. I want to give myself a little bit of a head start. I want to start with things that are a little bit easier, things that I know I already have been using throughout the years, so clearly I enjoy them. And I want it to be kind of a boost. I want it to be encouraging, and I want this to start off on the right foot. I want to get out of bed on the right side with this project. And it's interesting because it's something I've been thinking about for a while, and then yesterday I just watched Samantha March post her project pan for 2020 and a lot of the things she was saying was along a similar vein and yes it's sometimes really hard to just get started with so many things I, and this is a fun project this is not supposed to be all that serious it's if there's something I don't finish the sky is not gonna come down it's not gonna be the end of the world but still even in these uh, silly things, these little like games that we set up for ourselves to encourage us to use what we have. We want to start off right. We want to give ourselves that push. And then I think it will trickle down into other parts of our life and we will learn how things work for us and how they don't and apply those tactics to more serious things, whether it's human interactions and relationships or work related things or budget related things, I mean, you name it, anything in our life that we're trying to improve in, we really need to give ourselves 
that ability to start off right so that we have that initial like check mark of yes i did it so let's let's keep the streak going let's let's keep it rolling let's see if i can do even more if i can do even better tomorrow so that that is a really big reason on this list and you will see that quite a lot of the products i've selected have already quite a bit of usage some of them i might finish off almost immediately and that's exactly what i'm going for so Another thing I put down on my list is a challenge to myself to be consistent. I, in general, have a hard time with consistency in pretty much everything. I commit to doing something and I go in head first for the first few weeks and then I lose interest, I get bored, something else grabs my attention and all of my good intentions go out the window. I do this with so many things in my life, whether they are health related, work related, finance related. I have tried to budget and I have tried to stick to a budget so many times in my life. I have tried these little mini no buys and low buys before I've committed to this full year so many times and I usually do well at the start. So I was considering, well, maybe I should do a short project pan for a month, for three months. No, nope, just like with the snow buy, I want to go in for a full year and I know I'm starting a few weeks late, but still it's a full year. So I want to see if I can keep the momentum going because again, I want this to change my mindset, to change a lot of things in my daily life too. I, I want to learn from this whole experience uh, and make it fun for myself so that I can then use these strategies and make other things fun for myself and figure out how to approach them from a different angle. So that's that's another kind of big one, biggie on this list is to challenge myself to get better at consistency and really use things up, really commit. That's where I'm going with this, really commit to whatever it is I'm doing. And then the last reason I wrote down is a bit more lighthearted. I wanna play with makeup more. I don't wear makeup on a daily. I actually don't want that. I don't think it's really great for anybody's skin, but I don't do it nearly as often as I'd like. It makes me feel good. I love playing with color. I love playing with textures. I love mixing different lip colors together and different blushes together. I am not the most creative when it comes to that. I like following tutorials. I like getting inspiration from photos or other people here on YouTube, but I want to get to know what I have. I want to play with color more. Even if I look like a clown, sometimes it's, you know, I don't care. I It's makeup. We can wash it off. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. As always, I've been blabbering for way too long. So let's stop this right now and get into the products that I have chosen to start with in my panning project for 2020. So this is where everything is housed and I'm just gonna go through all the categories with you and show you what I've selected to start with. I was gonna do 20 products, but it ended up being 22 that I'm starting with. So it's not really 20 in 2020, it's 22 in 2020. We're gonna start with primer. For primer, I selected as I said, starting easy, I selected a sample size. This is the Pure Correcting Primer in Hydrate and Balance. I have probably about that much left. This was pretty much brand new at the start of January. I have been using it. So at the rate I'm going, I'm hoping that maybe by March this will be done and I can roll in a new primer. For foundation, I have been really enjoying this Revlon Candid Photo Ready Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation in 110 Porcelain. I did actually mark it. I don't know if you guys can see. Again, I'll show a close up and these things rub off. I have no idea how people make these things stay. Please, somebody let me know. Um, but yeah, I've marked it. I was about there and now I'm like a teeny bit lower. So that's what we're starting with. So I'm again, really hoping uh, that I can use this foundation in the next couple of months and then roll in another one. I'm, I'm really enjoying this foundation, by the way. And everything I'm mentioning, well, not everything, because I've selected more products that I can put on my face all at once. But uh, the primer, the foundation, and everything, uh, I will continue to mention that is on my face. For concealer, I've selected one that is probably down to here. I'm almost done. And this seems to be like the never ending concealer. I've been trying on my own to pan this thing pretty much all of last year. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. Does anybody know, do they still make this? 
This is in 15 fair. I've already used up, I think, one or two of these. I have no idea exactly how much I have, but I think it's down to about there. You know, the typical doe foot. Um, I will try to mark it or weigh it. I ordered a scale because I need one for baking and I figured I can also use it for this. I am so excited. I ordered a scale. I used to have one. It broke. Um, and now I just ordered another one and it's coming in two days and I will weigh all this stuff. So yes, I'm going to be like a legit project panner after Thursday. For under eye setting powder, I want to use this up. I used to uh, like this in the past. I've used one full one up a few years back. I repurchased. Um, I have about that much left. I haven't even told you what it is. This is the e.l.f. under eye... I can't remember the name, the sticker fell off, but it's like the under eye setting powder and this is in sheer little powder thing with a sifter that goes everywhere. Um, but yeah, there's that. For regular powder, I have been trying to pan my palette. Oh, can you tell this? This thing has been with me for years. It has gotten so much love. Everything's rubbed off. You can just see like a little bit of the glass in the hourglass. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Yes, I have to turn it like this to read anything because everything's rubbed off. And it has dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. And two out of three of my powders are pretty much gone. And the third one I use as a bronzer. So this is basically knocking out two of my categories and it is filthy because I use this all the time. But of course I wanna use up these for sure because I am getting there. And I wanna use this right now in the winter as a bronzer because it actually works for me as a bronzer because I am pale as a ghost. I have it on today. I have the powder on today. I really do enjoy it. For a while there I didn't. Then I really learned how to love it. And now I want to use up my first ever palette, like a whole face palette. I've of course never done that before. So, and this, this is expensive. So this is definitely getting my money's worth once I use it up. This, this is a favorite and I am absolutely scared that I will not be able to do this because blush is one of the hardest things to pan, but this is the Clinique Cheek Pop in 05 Nude Pop. Again, I have it on today. I absolutely love it. As you can tell, the flower is rubbing off. For those of you that know what this looks like, there is a beautiful flower embossing usually when you first start with a blush. I, I want to see how I do with this. I don't think I can use the whole blush up, but if I hit pan, I'm going to do a happy dance. For highlight, this was a tough one because I really also don't know if I can go ever through a highlight. I have my favorites and I'm of course going to keep using my favorites. And this one, I do have it on today, but it's a little dark for me right now because this one is my summer highlight. But I figured I'm going to try to use it all year round, maybe mix it with other highlights. This is part of a palette. This was the Pretty Cheeky Face Palette by Sonia Kashuk. No longer made. She does not make makeup anymore, only brushes. This was sold at Target. This is a blush, bronzer, and highlight, and I am going to focus on the highlight. It already does have a bit of a dip. I will try to do close-ups, and yes, it is filthy, and yes, I used it today, and I'm sorry, and I hope I'm not blinding you guys. I probably am. That's going to be my highlight. Moving on to some eye products. I am not going to include a gel or liquid liner. I might do a video like of all the things that I'm absolutely scared of doing, like my brows and my winged eyeliner and test some of these things out, but I'm definitely not putting it in my project pan. So we're gonna go with brows. For brows, the Benefit Gimme Brow, completely rubbed off, you can't see anything. It's in color three. It is just this little spoolie. It's the only thing I've used in my brows for years, and I don't know what I'm doing with my brows. So that's the best I can do for the time being. For eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna use, I've got this at TG Maxx, this is the Marc Jacobs undercover eyeshadow primer. It's a bit slick and oily. It's not maybe my favorite, but it works fine. So I want to try to see if I can go through it this year. From from what I know, from personal experience and from watching everybody else, eyeshadow primers take forever to use up. So we're going to have to just see how it goes. I have a couple of other eyeshadow primers that I will need to go through. So that will probably last me a few years. For eyeliner, oh, this eyeliner is so janky and I don't know why, but I'm gonna try. This is a Sephora Crayon Con Contour Eye Pencil, 12 hour wear, waterproof. 
in, I mean, it's in black. I don't know if it has a shade name. Black Lace, 01 Black Lace Matte. I will show you guys a close-up of this. I have no idea what happened to this poor pencil. It looks like somebody has chewed on it, even though I promise all I did was try to sharpen it and it broke off like this, but it still works. In fact, I can show you how we're gonna do this. Boom, like that was, that was great. Creamy, black, all good. For mascara, I am going to uh, use this Ilia, Oh, I don't remember what this is called. I've been using it this month. I really enjoy it. It's the mascara I have on today on my top lashes. I did not put any on my bottom lashes today. And so far so good. I, again, rolling project pan. So as this mascara becomes unusable because it gets empty or old or clumpy or whatever, I'm gonna bring in another mascara. I have a few open, so it's not exclusively the only one I'm gonna be using, but I'd like to use that one up. For eyeshadow, I was even debating whether I should put eyeshadow in my project pan because let's face it, I don't ever hit pan on eyeshadow with very few exceptions. And this is one of those few exceptions. This is a little palette by Lorac that I've had, you could see, it is so beat up. I've had this for quite a few years. I love it. I travel with it. I use it a lot. And I originally hit pan on one shadow, then I hit pan on a second shadow, and then I discovered that I can use a couple of the other colors in there for other purposes other than eyeshadow. And I've mentioned this in one of my other videos, and I also mentioned that I heard Mandy Lee talk about this and that I am not the only one, but I use the dark browns in here to color in my grays in between coloring my hair. So that's why there's three shadows in here that are pretty much almost done. So that'll be nice and easy. You can see I've got this one, which is almost done. I've already repressed it and it's starting to fall apart again. And then these two, I of course use them on my eyes, but I also use them as root touch-ups. So my goal is to use up Bare Latte Corduroy and Chocolate, the top four, three of of course, I don't foresee having any issues doing that with the latte. I will just have to remember to consistently reach in for. And then I'd also like to use up linen if possible and hit pan on pink mauve. So if I can get these six pretty much done or at least almost done, then I will be happy to call quits on this little guy because I don't use black a lot and I do use this burgundy shade, it does have a dip, but again, I don't think I use it enough to actually commit to a pan this year. I doubt that's gonna happen. I'll keep using it, but... So that is my palette of 2020, and again, we'll see if I finish my goals for this earlier in the year, I'll bring in something else. We're on to lips i have four lip products one in each category lip liner being the first one and i've decided to go with my absolute favorite because i love using it and i want to get my money's worth before it dries out i've purchased this charlotte tilbury lip lip cheat before in pillow talk years ago and i somehow lost it in my car out of all places and i tore my car inside out and was never able to find it so yeah, which is very sad considering this is what, like a $28, $24, $20 dollar lip liner. It's expensive and I lost one. And then I waited a few years and then last year I just couldn't resist. I missed it so much, I repurchased it and I've been using it a lot. It's already quite small as you can see. I mean, it's got a long way to go but I'm gonna keep using this, this baby. So yeah, we're gonna mark it, we're gonna keep track. I've already sharpened it a couple of times in January, but I'm sure you guys will forgive me. Uh, for lipstick, I didn't go with the bullet lipstick. I went with an older product that really needs to move out of my collection. I have quite a few Bite Beauty lipsticks and they are food grade lipsticks to begin with. So they're edible, they're natural, but that also means they spoil a little faster than some of the other, lipsticks some of the other brands and i've had this for a while this came in a holiday set of four of these little mini uh what do they call them matte cream lip crayons they've just come out 
with a brand new all vegan formula. So these are no longer made. And this is in the color pastille or pastille, or pa I'm not sure. And this is all I have left, guys. I wanna get this done. I've been working on this lipstick for at least a year, if not more. I forget about it. So now I'm gonna actually commit and try to use that up. For liquid lip, I went with something that I enjoy wearing. I wear it on stage all the time, and that's a bright red, and that's what you're seeing on me today. And this is one of my favorite bright reds. My absolute favorite is a bullet lipstick, and that's Ruby Woo from MAC. That will forever have my heart. But I decided actually to go with this. This is the Sephora Matte Cream Stain, or whatever they call it, in 01. I don't remember the actual shade name. It's like True Red or some red. But yeah, it's just a Dofa regular liquid lipstick, but I love these. Comfortable, stay on, and I love this red, and I wanna see how much I can get use out of it this year, and if I can use it my first ever liquid lipstick. No, I lie. I have used one one lip, liquid lipstick before, and that was a Dose of Colors Cruffle. And then for lip gloss, I think Sephora had a 500 point perk a couple of years back with a few Marc Jacobs products and this was included. This is their gloss in Sugar Sugar, the enamored lip gloss. This was so popular on YouTube about three years ago. Do you guys remember this? If you've been watching for a while, everyone and their mother was raving about this. Jaclyn Hill started the craze and then, I mean, Sugar Sugar especially was like the lip gloss of the century. My thinking process here was obviously the red is a standalone. I will use other lip liners with it. But I was thinking that these three products actually could be somehow combined. Like I could definitely wear the Charlotte Tilbury with the gloss. Oops, this way. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury with the gloss, which I've done before in a video. Um, and I could wear pastille, which I haven't worn much yet in January, but I definitely will start. It's a great fall uh, and winter color. So, um, so yeah, that's it for lips. Okay, we just have a few real quick products left and we're done. Setting spray. I got this in a BoxyCharm. It's a Project Beauty spray set and go. Um, I, I don't like the sprayer. It's a little too intense. It like... It seems like it's gonna be good, but you have to really, like you have to have the perfect distance for it to work nicely. But what I've been using it is also to dampen my eyeshadow brushes when I wanna put on shadow wet. For perfume, because I selected uh, a product in each of the categories for this in the Team Project Pan. So they have a perfume, a body care product, a skincare product, and a hair care product. For perfume, I went with the Marc Jacobs Decadence. This is just, I like the smell, but this is just so huge and so bulky and I bought it because it was on sale, it was discounted. I'm sure I'm blinding you because the original color of this is a beautiful green bottle. This was like a holiday collection special and this, this gold stuff is gross and like peeling off the bottle. I have about half left. This is gonna take me forever. This bottle is, it's a hundred millimeter bottle. Not millimeter, what am I talking about? Milliliter. It's a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. It's, it's a giant size. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I really, I have learned now that I need to stick to smaller size perfume bottles because I get bored and I want to try new scents. And I do love this one and it's one of my signature scents, but I'm starting to get really tired of it. But I, at the same time, really just want to get it out. For body care, I'm including a bit of an embarrassing product, but I needed to include this because otherwise I will forget to use it. And it's something I really need to use because I have really dry feet and especially now in the winter time. But what I did buy uh, years ago on a sale somewhere is a Clarisonic for your feet, like a, I think they even call it like a Petty Sonic or something. And it came in this really cool set with a few products, uh, like a lotion, a scrub, a this, a that, the other thing, and the actual device. And I've been trying to finally start using it this month, this January. And of course, as always, the first couple of weeks, I was really good and I've noticed this past week or two, I'm like falling off the wagon, I'm forgetting to bring it to the shower with me. 
I'm just, I'm a mess. So I, I decided, that's it, I'm putting it, I decided today that this is what I'm putting into my project pan so that it encourages me to actually take care of my feet. So this is the Petty Buff Sonic Foot Smoothing Treatment. You basically put this, well, they, they even tell you daily, just daily, yeah, right, Natalia. Dispense a quarter sized amount of Petty Buff to the soles of the feet and then use a wet Clarisonic Petty Brush head on the highest speed setting to massage into skin for two to three minutes on each foot, concentrating on heels or other rough dry areas. So that's that's what we're going with. We'll see how I do. For skincare, I have so many face mists and so many sprays, and I know I've selected a setting spray, but this is actually a toner spray. So this is the Andalou Naturals A Thousand Roses Floral Toner. It is a natural product, so I am hoping that whatever the, the scent is in here is also like not bad for me. And we'll see. It's it hasn't been irritating so far. I have used as you can see a bit of it, and not all in this month. I've used this in the past, but now I'm gonna commit to actually trying to use it more often. And if it starts breaking me out or I really don't like it or drying me out or something, obviously I will get rid of it and swap something else in there and then last but not least is a hair product this is an argan oil oil treatment by a company called pyt i don't know does that stand for like pretty young thing in this case i have no idea it doesn't say anything honestly i've used other argan oils on my hair and my face and my body before and i have a feeling this is a bs product it does not smell like or argan oil it has other things clearly in it it honestly smells almost like cheap men's cologne or like cheap men's body wash. I don't know how to describe this. I'm not a huge fan, but I've been using it just to use it up. I'm down to about here. I'm hoping to use this up in two months. So I need to use up all of my cheap argan oils that I've gotten through subscription boxes or bought on clearance and eventually find an argan oil that I really like and enjoy because my hair really likes it and really enjoys it. So eventually I want to find a really good one, but I am not allowed to do that until I use up all the junk that I have. So I think that's it. I think I went through everything. Wish me luck, guys. I'm really, really optimistic about some of these products and I'm really terrified about a few of these products, but we're going to give it our first best shot. And I would love for you guys to tell me, are you doing a project pan? If so, which one are you doing? and how many products did you select and how are you going about all this. I'm going to do my best to post definitely once a week. I haven't picked a day yet. I'm trying to get a routine. I'm trying to figure out what days I can consistently film on if that even will become a thing in my life. And you know, if, if I ever can get a second bonus video, obviously I would love to do that. That was initially what I was hoping to do is two videos a week. But the month of January so far has really proved to me that with my teaching schedule and work schedule and practice schedule, it's just not realistic. So I am going to really try my best to do two videos on occasion, but we're gonna start with a definite one video a week and go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're gonna share with me some of your thoughts on how what you what you thought of the products I selected and any recommendations and suggestions and words of encouragement. I would love to hear that down in the box. Let's have a conversation. And if you enjoyed this video and if you're curious to see my previous few videos, please, please go check them out. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video, it will help me so much and I really am enjoying interacting with the few people that have been kind enough to comment and subscribe. And I hope you will recommend my videos and spread the word and spread the love. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day. Bye. Yeah. Seriously, spit it out, Natalia. Just spit it out. It's not that difficult. <clears throat> Maybe you should be prepared, Natalia, and actually open to the page you need in your notebook. What do you think of that? Mm. Yeah. There's something in the mouth. Yeah, let's see. Oh, no. This looks like it's feathering. Mm, it's liner. Oh boy. A mess. I'm already a mess, and I just started. My brows are already a mess. Dear Lord, we're like a minute into the video. Ah! I'm already a mess. Look at that. I'm getting red lipstick all over my nose. What am I doing?
Guys, what am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Get your act together, Natalia. But regardless, I've decided going back. <laughs> going back, because as always, I am way too long-winded. Oh, we again have the background noise of all the kids coming home from school. Why do I never learn? Why do I film at this hour? Because this is gonna be a hybrid, because this is gonna be a hybrid uh, project pan, let's try that a third time. Well, I hear some New York City sirens. I don't know when they started because I don't pay attention to those things because I live here. This is new to me, this whole filming and noise. Noise doesn't usually bother me. Position. I make my own noise all the time. I try to remember to consistently reach in for re to consistently re- Why can't I say that? I'm so sorry. I'm I was gonna say I'm a terrible YouTuber, and then I realized that that's really ridiculous, because let's face it, I'm not really a YouTuber yet. I am such a newbie. Okay, take two. <laughs> it's more like take 20. Oh, really? Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. Ugh. It's never bothered me before. It's only taken me filming four videos for YouTube to really hate the cars outside. And the buses. I am on a busy street. I, I have to get used to this. I really do have to get used to this. And quite possibly, you guys have to get used to either me complaining about it or just all the noise. 